Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I will do some experiments and enhancements of the chat app. Uh, there was a one question on the forum, how to create uh, the greeting uh, from the admin of the app automatically when user has just signed up. So I decided to make the video to, to show how to do it. Uh, as a base application, I'm going to use the uh, chat app. Uh, this is a chat app template. So I'm going to modify it in a way that when user signs up, uh, he or she will immediately receive the greeting uh, from the admin and this greeting be, will be a con chat conversation from uh, some uh, user which I will assign as an admin. So uh, again, this is a mm, chat app template. To start with, uh, I need to decide where should I put this uh, logic to create the greeting. Well, obviously it should be somewhere in between sign up and home screen. So uh, there's just a single screen uh, add profile picture um, uh, between. Uh, well, there's an option that you can attach this logic to this screen, but I prefer to make a separate screen for that. I'll call it an interim screen. Uh, let me add the screen. So, uh, and uh, this screen will be right in between the profile picture and home. And then instead of uh, when user presses continue, instead of going to home, it will go to uh, interim screen. So uh, what do I need to do? To, what I, do I need to create on interim screen to create the message? Well, first let's have a look uh, at the structure of the app, how the messages and conversations are being created. Uh, we have already we already have some users in the database. So there are seven records and that let's imagine uh, that for example, Elon at SpaceX.com would like to uh, greet the any new user as an admin. So this user will be an admin. So uh, in order to uh, to create a new conversation from this user, what we need to do first, uh, we need to create the uh, conversation by itself. So when we select uh, uh, here, we have the start conversation screen. And when we select the user, uh, so when we click on the, on the user to start the conversation, you see that there is a logic that the conversation is created, then it's updated, and then we go to the uh, messages screen. And here uh, is the logic for creating message uh, when uh, someone types uh, the message here. So we need to replicate this logic on this interim screen. So uh, in order to make it work automatically, I will use the countdown timer. Uh, again, it's uh, I can always put a button here, but uh, as for me, countdown timer is going to be an easier way. So let me add the countdown timer from the installed components. Uh, okay, I'll quickly set it up. Just one second, only seconds. Uh, later on, I will hide it and uh, nobody will see it. So uh, what do... I need to set up as an action for countdown timer. So when it's finished, uh, first thing I want to do is to create a new conversation. So uh, let me call it the greeting conversation. So and here is the first problem which I see. I cannot really uh, put a user, the admin user, as a creator, because uh, here on this screen, I have only logged in user. So what I'm going to do is to use the power of lists filtered to a single item. So I will convert uh, the countdown timer to a list. So it's going to be a list of users. And I will add the filter that it's uh, will be the list of users where in mail, user email is equal to, let me copy the email from this user record, alon at spacex.com. Okay, so list of users. 
uh, with a custom filter where a user email is equal to alanspacex.com. So as a consequence, we will have just a single item here. Uh, then uh, if we go back to timer, which is now a member to the list, a member of the list, so we can see that uh, it's possible to add current user as a creator of conversation. That's wonderful. So creator will be current user. Last message sent date will be uh, current time because uh, we will create the uh, message uh, immediately. So, and we don't have messages and uh, read statuses as well. Uh, it's not needed. Uh, so then we need to add uh, both users as members to this conversation. Again, how it works, you can easily uh, see uh, on the start conversation screen. So I'm updating a new conversation and I add current user as a member. You remember that it's going to be uh, Mr. Allen. And I update new conversation and uh, here I will add logged in user as a member. Okay, wonderful. So we have created and updated the conversation. Uh, what we need to do next is probably to create a message. So I'm going to create a new message and a sender will be current user, it's from admin. A conversation will be new conversation, so which we have just created. And the message text will be, say, some greeting. Okay, so we have what we did. We created a conversation, create message, and then a next action should be to go to the home screen. So let's make a link to home. Great. Now let's implement some protective measures. Imagine user after sign up gets to the home screen and uh, presses back button. So he will get to interim screen and the timer will work once again and second conversation and second message gonna be created. So I don't think uh, we really want this to happen. So uh, what uh, I'm going to do is to uh, create the specific property in a user's collection. Uh, I'll call it uh, greeting received. It is a true false property. Uh, by default, uh, this uh, property is set to false. So uh, when uh, the greeting is uh, being sent to the user, meaning that uh, the conversation is created and the message is sent, so I will add the action uh, to this uh, countdown timer finished. Uh, so I will update logged in user and set greeting received to true. And then uh, If uh, I don't really want this timer to appear when the uh, greeting received is set to true, so I will make it sometimes visible. If logged in user greeting received is true, uh, is false, of course, this timer will be visible. When it's true, it's not be visible. And also, uh, I want uh, to redirect the user to back to home screen when uh, he or she occasionally gets to this interim screen by pressing back. So I will add an action uh, that uh, to link to uh, home screen. Uh, and this action will be conditional uh, only if logged in user greeting received uh, is true. So again, uh, the countdown timer will be visible only if greeting received is false, when action is, uh, when the conversation is creating, uh, created, uh, I set the greeting received to true. And after that, uh, user should not see the timer and automatically get to home screen uh, if uh, he occasionally gets to interim screen. Uh, so oh, everything is set up, let's test. Okay, uh, let me sign up. Uh, so 
So I have signed up. Uh, this is a profile picture. I don't really need it. And then this is an interim screen and I get automatically to home screen. As you can see, there is a new message from Elon Metrics uh, greeting me. Welcome to the chat app. Uh, great, this works. And uh, imagine we are pressing back several times and back once again. You see there is no timer and uh, I get to the screen and the message is not recreated. Uh, to double check, uh, let's add an add additional user. So I will sign up as uh, John Press continue. As you can see, the timer is here and uh, I get to the welcome uh, to the home screen with a message from Elon Matrix. And again, back doesn't, uh, timer doesn't, is not shown. And uh, here's the message and I see this welcome to the chat app message. 